to China now, which has revealed a plan to strengthen its control over yet more industries. A document by China State Council says it wants to expand regulation further, framing its approach as consumer protection. It follows a series of crackdowns which have wiped billions of dollars in private investment from Chinese firms as foreign investors panic over increased intervention by the state. Now, the country has recently targeted tech giants like Didi and Ant Group after they went public on foreign exchanges. Then China announced a massive reform of the education sector, banning foreign investors and forcing firms to convert to non-profit status. Investors feel the new plan by China is far from benign, judging by those recent interventions. The Hang Seng Tech Index, which tracks stock prices of Chinese tech firms, has fallen 40% since February, and that's over half a trillion dollars of investment evaporated from Chinese tech. Well, for more on all of that, I'm joined now by Fraser Howie in Singapore. He's been working in China's capital market since 1992, and he's the co-author of Red Capitalism, The Fragile Foundations of China's Extraordinary Rise. So good to have you uh, with us, Fraser. Uh, I mean, who's getting targeted this time? We've had tech, we've had the education. Who is targeted this time? Well, basically, the signal is that everybody's targeted. Everyone has a, 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 sort of a target on their back. I don't think there is any industry that can say it truly safe, and certainly not if you're a private sector industry. And what about, uh, I mean, 40% uh, loss in the stock value of, of Chinese tech companies since February. Is that in Beijing's interest? Do they want those Chinese-grown tech companies to, to bleed out? Uh, well, of course, really, no, it's not in their interest because, as you say, foreign investors are panicking, but also Chinese domestic investors are panicking. Remember, these are Chinese businesses. There may be a degree of foreign funding in them, and foreigners may have given either some seed capital or be trading them on the stock markets. But these are Chinese entrepreneurs who have built very large, successful businesses in legal sectors. This is not sectors which were deemed illegal and they got around regulation. Now, Be Beijing coming over the top and bringing more regulation sounds good. And it, of course, all markets, whether they be in Europe, the States, Germany or China, needs regulation. But China is coming at this with a very ideological bent. So what, what is the ideology behind it? What is Beijing after? Well, first of all, it's control that the party does not want private sector growing large, basically effectively becoming a separate power base from the party. So there's ideological control from a political standpoint. There's also this idea that Xi Jinping, the leader of China, has this idea of creating a new China and the new Chinese man and woman, and that they won't waste their time playing computer games. They won't go to send their children to cramer school. Instead, they'll dutifully study his uh, speeches and his writings. Um, and that's very worrying because the government thinks it's got all the answers. And sadly, economic history teaches us that the governments most certainly do not. All right, Fraser Howie there in Singapore. Thank you so much for your time.